Hey, so um, in this video, I'm just going to show you a cool little integration of Polybar and Rafi. This is a work in progress. Um, there are still a few things that I'd like to fine tune about this. Um, so if you see over here, like this is Polybar. And if you see right here, it has this little folder icon. If I like uh, left click then it'll pop up Nautilus if I uh, right click here's where the Rafi integration is so you can see this is like just a Rafi thing let's open up like a particular picture okay you can see Jesse McCree right there yeah okay so okay what I mean by why I say it's like a work in progress is because, well, let's just go to my code. And it doesn't matter which one. You know, I can't open up certain files. In fact, actually, I don't know why this cursor changed. So, anyways. Yeah, in fact, actually. Yeah, okay. Anyways. So first I'll just show you the Rafi configurations on how I got this. So um, now this was inspired by a video that I saw of how to do this. I'm sure there are probably other tutorials on how to do this as well. Besides, of uh, I'll link it in the description of where I got it. So that's just colors, normal stuff. I honestly just copied it. Like I asked him for his config and. I just copied and pasted it. Oops. Um. So here's where the magic really kind of happened. You can specify a location for Rafi, and I'll show you the man pages of this. So, yeah, this was a little bit annoying, but so like these are the corners or like the different sections of your screen and um so six is about right here you know one two three and so on probably could have done seven and it would have been easier so i just played around with these numbers right here so if you notice it's like right here right so like let's say I did um, hey, wait, I actually want to remember this so I'm just gonna make this a comment okay uh, let's say I did like 1000 or something like that refresh everything okay so this is gonna be kinda weird but Okay, you see it showed up way over here, right? Which obviously doesn't make any sense. So I just kept playing around with it until um, until I got it to be where I needed it to be. Okay, so that's that. So let's just go to... Oh, weird. Now the polybar part... Uh, this one. So, as you can see, like you can specify like where you're gonna place the modules, and so the i3 one is right here. So I just put i3, and then there's like this little Chrome one. Okay, so it's a custom text. That way, I can just use this font, which, by the way, I'm using like Font Awesome to get these little icons here. Um, again, like I said, if I left click, it brings up, uh, whoa, interesting, uh, brings up, you know, the Nihilist thing. If I, uh, right click, it brings up the Rafi. So this is, like, uh, so I, I got this from online again. You could probably look it up and like one of the first results will be the GitHub page where you can find it. Um, it. It's just some script I found online to do this. In fact, like I use it 
for my regular Rafi, which is like right here. It's mainly for locating like files. So like, uh, okay, well it's not, I don't know. Uh, anyways, yeah, you, you, you get the point. Oh, oops. <laughs> Uh, so this is specifying the config file, which is I just showed you, um, you know, and uh, this is actually allowing me to have my own custom little menu thing called files, and this is just actually like saying, hey, show this one specifically. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm still working on it because. Uh, as you can see, like, I can't open up, like, other s certain different things and stuff like that. Actually, let me just, I don't know, anyways, so...